Hey Blade Ops, we have an awesome knife review for you today. It is the Cold Steel Holdout 2. Uh, we have both models here, the Holdout Plain Edge and the Serrated. Product code on that, 11HL and HLS respectively. So, without further ado, here they are. Give you a little demo and then we will talk about what we like, maybe what we don't, etc. There is the serrated version and there's the plain blade. So on the serrations, we're going to mostly do the demo on the plain bladed one, but uh, the serrations, quick look at the classic cold steel serrations all the way up the blade. There is about eh, a third of an inch of plain open exposed blade there at the end, full flat ground. So the price on these, uh, we'll start off with that. They run about $68. That's with the shipping and everything included. And like I said, these have the full flat ground blade, four inches of AUS 8A steel. I think that's great steel for the price. It's hard to go wrong. These have the G10 skeletonized handle. No liners, so it's nice and light. You're looking at 4.2 ounces. You know, for a 9-inch knife with a 7-inch blade, uh, 4.2 ounces is actually fairly light. Uh, makes a great self-defense, kind of EDC. Uh, tactical, I'll use that term loosely. I don't know what you consider a tactical knife, but as far as uh, self-defense, this makes a good knife. It obviously sports the cold steel triad lock, which is super solid locks very solid. You can see uh, the thumb stud can be removed and it can also be switched to right or left handed so fully ambidextrous. The pocket clip can be switched right or left handed. It is a tip up carry. So for you lefties out there, still a good choice. The Probably the only negatives for me are the way the grip's set up. It has this little choil here, but it's not much of one. Um, despite the fact that the G10 has a lot of texture and a lot of grip, there's nothing to prevent your hand when you do it, you know, any sort of stabbing or penetration there. There's nothing to prevent your hand from sliding up besides the traction of the, the handle. I'm not saying that's not enough. That probably is enough, um, but that. The only other negative for me is, it's similar on a lot of cold steel knives, is that the clip will actually is up against the G10. So if you wear your knife, you know, in your pants pocket or in a vest pocket, it it tends to get stuck quite a bit right there on the, on the G10. Um, I've seen guys sand that down or put some epoxy there, which is, you know, that's not a bad option. So those are the only two negatives for me. There's tons of positives uh, right off the bat. It's got the G10 with tons of traction, which I think with also the skeletonized holes here, you know, you can get enough traction um, to be safe and effective. Um, another plus for me is the price for what you're getting. You know, $68 for a high quality cold steel knife backed by them, that's gonna be hard to go wrong. Um, another plus for me is the triad lock. It locks up so solid. Listen to that. That's a solid lock back knife. Um, and lastly, you know the design, it's a unique design. It's gonna look great in your collection. It makes a great EDC. So those are the pluses for me. Let me know what you think. Comment down below about the Cold Steel Holdout 2. Check it out, Blade Ops.